Hey gardeners, I just wanted to um, check in with you on video because um, if you're anything like me, sometimes reading an email with lots of details can be really boring. So I always like to record a video for those of us who um, would rather just hear things. Um, so I'm super excited about gardening with you all this year. Um, I just have a couple of things I wanted to talk to you about. One is that um, I felt like last year uh, having work days worked out really well. Um, that was really helpful for me as a volunteer garden manager. There's like a lot to make sure we maintain and we all did that together and I'm so, so, so grateful for all of your help. Um, so instead of having work days or requiring a work day once a month, um, I'm sure, I feel like we got a lot done and that um, we might not need as you all to show up as often. So I have um, change that requirement to every other, it averages out to be every other month. So you choose four days between April and October that you'll show up and put in one to two hours of labor to kind of help maintain the communal spaces in the garden. This year, Emmeline McDonald is helping me co-manage the garden, which is awesome. So she's going to be in charge of the food maze. Um, I will, of course, be helping, but that's kind of her. She knows what's getting planted. When it's getting planted, she'll be the point person. If you show up on that day and you want to work on the food maze, she'll be the one helping um, determine what to do. And then I'm going to take over the general maintenance of the property. So um, we've got some spigots that I've got to fix and um, I'll be making sure things get mowed and get um, weed eated, <laughs> I think. Um, so uh, just let us know what days work for you. And again, if, if just like last year, if you um, a day's coming up that you sign up for, you can switch to another day, no problem. Or you can just say, hey, Natalie, I can't make Saturdays anymore. Can I do something else instead? Um, please communicate with me. Um, but no problem if you have to change things around. Um, the other thing is we are going to start um, charging by the square footage. So for most of you, you're not gonna pay very much different than what you did last year. Um, but what I'm gonna do is like add up the total square feet in your garden plot and we basically have like a small, a medium and a large plot rate. So um, there's detail in the email about how that works. Um, it'll be 25, 45 and 75 will be how those are broken down. And um, we decided as, as a garden council to include a deposit this year. So that will be a $20 deposit and that deposit um, is for making sure that you keep your garden clean. Um, now I, none of us is perfect about keeping our gardens perfectly clean. So I'm not gonna be the clean garden police by any means. But what I, I do ask that you do if you are starting to, if you've had to leave your garden for a long time and or um, just let me know. Um, we can put somebody on it. That can be a part of our group work day. If, if something's going on in your life to where you can't be around for a few weeks, um, that's totally something we can accommodate. But we have to know um, that that's the plan. So just stay in communication about that. The deposit is just to kind of make sure that you're fulfilling your responsibility as somebody who is making a good effort to keep things clean and communicating with me or with Emmeline um, when things come up um, and also showing up for the community work hours. Um, and again, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're there on the work day, um, but if you're not there on the work day, kind of work out a plan with us. Um, so if you have any questions about any of this, please feel free to reach out to me directly. You have my email. Um, you can also call or text me and my phone number is on the signature of my email. Um, our first garden work day is in April and I look forward to seeing some of you guys.